Brad Hammer 1981 here. Just uh, as I promised, just a, a quick uh, update video. So I have um, my new um, Campanata species um, attached to their mini hearth now. Um, hoping they'll move on their own. Um, not that I don't have to disturb them too much to kind of encourage them to move, but got the mini hearth all set up with the nectar water the, the water on the top is not necessary i do it because i simply have some of the extra micro uh like liquid feeders so you know it gives me a peace of mind uh, my formica is typically always has one or two workers every now and then go into the outworld but anyway i need to get a a tag for these new guys which i'll do um, when I go to work next, but I wanted to do a video so you can kind of get a better look at the actual ants. Looks like there's a pupae in there. I haven't seen any of the workers actually go into the, into the mini herd yet. So, yeah. Zoom in. It sucks. I think they may have possibly lost maybe, you know, one or two workers in the shipping process. But, you know, that's, that's what happens when you ship. It's the reality of it. I don't know if that extra... A uh, day or two of shipping really made much of a difference. Awesome species, though. Now, for those of you who don't know, the, uh, the uh, Campanata species, the common name is basically a carpenter ant. Anyway, so, yep, just a quick video. Let's get all the supplies out and all that, but new fruit fly culture. Now, what I need to find out, and maybe you, uh, some of you uh, can answer this before I can do my own research, but because I only have the one heat lamp. Now, the heat lamp's not required because I do have this uh, under under the tank, under the glass um, heat mat that is controlled by a temperature controller. As you can see the probe over there, um, that has, which is really cool, has a night and, and daytime temps. So it's really awesome. And so far it's worked flawlessly. But, so the heat lamp is not uber important, but what I want to figure out eventually, because the next species I get is going to be a, uh, a uh, pogo. Now they're going to go here. And then basically what I'm gonna do is like, whatever species doesn't require as much heat, I'm gonna move them away from the lamp. And with a heat mat, what I might do is I might get a separate controller. They're not super expensive. I mean, they're about 30 bucks, but still. Um, I'm thinking long term anyway. I might do another controller and have this set for temps for because both this Formica and this uh, Campanata species I have here, they don't really. I mean, Pogo species like it like in the low low to I think maybe even up to the mid 90s degree Fahrenheit, and these guys that's pretty hot for them. So I'm, I don't want to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to maybe do the temperature controller for here and keep it at 82 like I do, 80, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and then have the heat lamp eventually set up for the 92 degrees uh, of uh, Fahrenheit for the pogos, but I got time to figure that out. But what I wanna know is basically, does the Formica require more heat or does this Campanatus require more heat? Um, and again, I believe this is Campanatus sensibinus, so please, uh, if you happen to know the answer, please comment and let me know. Again, thanks everyone, Brad Amos 19 and I'll, I'll do an update video uh, when there's something to update. <laughs> All right, bye.